Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about my fresh installation of ZBrush 20.22.0.2 and it's a fresh copy and for anybody who's new to ZBrush you're gonna see this window it's gonna pop up and the first thing you're gonna see is that Lightbox is open but if you're new to ZBrush you don't really know what Lightbox is so it's this button right here that's actually this whole window that popped up now what it does is allow you to open up templates and preset projects so if you can click any one of these it'll open them up there are different things in each little folder that you can open up to get you started to kind of get you running but if you don't know ZBrush is gonna be kind of like clicking buttons unless you go looking for a video that explains it and that's what I'm doing here is explaining it so if you click this little button that goes away now you're in 2.5 D mode and you're not in 3D it won't register as a 3D model everything you're doing is, is like a flat drawing so unless you open up a project that's in 3D or import something in or do a new, a new shape so we can double click right here and do a new project and now we're in 3D this is actually just already a sphere with symmetry turned on and you can start modeling and go from here and just model anything you want if you're wanting to just hit the ground running you can start modeling using all these tools uh, there's different sets of tools uh, I have a favorite little set that I use and I put them on my number pad with along with hotkeys so let's start fresh let's go over to this right right here is your tool palette and you can get a star start with whatever you want you can initialize and make and do hard surface modeling it depends on really what direction you want to go now the thing is is that we can get up and running but a lot of times once you sculpted whatever you needed to and you need to save you're like I need to save my work most computer programs are on the top left and we're looking around there's nothing there uh, but we see a document if you click save document it's not going to be in 3d it's going to be a 2.5d file as you just saw that um, 2.5 is not 3d and you'll probably end up losing your work if you didn't save it correctly so we'll We'll label this this is one way to save your document but it's at 2.5 and let's see if I can put some text on here we'll label this 2.5 and it's really it, it it's something that ZBrush had on early when it first made ZBrush and I was it was neat but this isn't normally what you're gonna go to and this is the next place to save your file this is going to be your project if you're going to save your project and it's going to save everything you see in this window your materials your tools and everything else this is if you're going to save if you want everything saved out and you're going along this is a good way to save you can save your undo history include it and this will save all your little markings that you see right here and these are all your undos this is a good way to save and the last place to save is your tools and you can save as this will save the tool that's selected at the bottom and you can save this out what I like about the tool save is that it doesn't have anything no undo history, no material, no. It's a pretty small file size if you're just trying to get something done real quick and uh, concept out stuff. It's a pretty cool way to save. I like using the tool. When I once I start establishing what I want and the tool is more, you know, kind of thought out, then I start going back into the project to save. So there, there are three methods of saving, and usually I don't use. The document one so that's this is where everybody goes the top left and then you're looking looking like oh and then you save it and then you learn the hard way and lose stuff and and it kind of discourages you from doing ZBrush after that um, 
or most of the time. I was discouraged. I know I was discouraged when I lost some stuff and it, it took me a little bit to kind of come back to it. And this was years ago when there wasn't really much on the internet explaining anything. So three methods to save. And that's pretty much what I just wanted to kind of cover real short and kind of get anybody who's learning ZBrush, just a quick little way to save and start off real quick. If you're looking to get on the ground running, there's templates here to kind of get you going. You can open up any one of these and go from there and you can start sculpting whatever you want. Hopefully this helps. It's not a very in-depth tutorial. It's just mainly how to save and, and get your saves in there. So hopefully this helps whoever is beginner in ZBrush and later on or hopefully to later on today I'll, I'll do another video of um, how to customize because this is a fresh install and I figured I'd show um, a blank canvas this is how ZBrush looks um, when you open it up the only thing I believe I've changed uh, on top of that was the size of the buttons and that's it so this is pretty much a fresh install Hopefully this helps you on saving your work and not losing it and then just getting discouraged down the road and keeps you um, moving forward. So thank you for watching.